it's very easy. So what do you want to do with it here? Uh, honestly, I, I was just figuring it out. All right, so watch this. So new rig. Okay. So you literally, first thing I do, I have one of these and the FRFR. Yeah. So what I do, I pick my amp. Um, you like clean or dirty? Dirty. All right. Let's just go with the red channel here, the Bogner. I slide my cab at the end. Okay. So what, they, what that's going to do, if you go into uh, global settings, you have your alternate output source. So you got a quarter inch out and also an XLR out, okay. right? So let's say you want to take you want to take an alternate source to like a to like a real amplifier or like a power amp. Yeah. You could. Then you need to, you could also send a signal to the front of the house. Okay. Right? But with that, you know, a lot of times with real amps, you don't want the IR or the cab actually in the chain, right? right? So that's what the uh, that's what the alternate output source does. It takes it takes your full rig and then bypasses just the very end of it, like the, the cab or the IR. Um, so at this point, you know, you can add in a reverb or a delay. Let's do a delay. You already have a pretty killer sound. Right. Right. You don't really have to do a whole lot to it. Um, you could you can make it sync on and off. So you can tap in your tempo. So you got quarter notes. You got you know all the different subdivisions. Here's uh, eighth notes. You can add in a tube screamer. change something just literally just touch it and then change it over here huh. right you can change stuff about the amp <laughs> to get to the different parameters you just touch on the top or bottom you have know, to slide through the different parameters and stuff and uh, I mean you can literally make hundreds of different rigs yeah. different amps different effects and then at that point um, you could go and you could, uh, and this, well, I don't, I don't need to save that, but you, know, you can go with the set list. You can make, uh, say, for this song, I want, I want like a Fender rig and a Saldana rig and a Bogner rig all in the same song, yeah. right? So create your rigs, put them in a set list, name it whatever song you want, and then bam, you just got all your different rigs right there in a the row. You can do like different, you can create scenes. Yeah. Which, is, which is making different combinations of different effects. And uh, you literally do everything with it. So I use this for all my recording in the studio, everything. Gotcha. Like all the, all the releases I've done in the last year, it's been nothing but the head rush. So I could choose a Fender sound, I could choose a Marshall sound, a Box sound, whatever you want. Huh. Um, Hey guys, thanks for checking out my videos and my YouTube channel. If you want to see a lot more cool content, be sure to head over to DrMcFarlandStudios.com.